Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching NDTV and this is Battle for States where we track elections and their impact very closely. As election activity peaks, Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Bupesh Bhagel has caused, called for scrapping the nota, which is none of the above option in elections. He has cited instances of nota polling more votes than the margin of victory and claimed that voters may accidentally choose nota. Remember, the nota option sits last after names of all candidates in an election. It has its own symbol of a ballot paper with a black cross on it. The option was introduced in 2013 by a Supreme Court directive based on a PIL filed by the People's Union for Civil Liberties. Before that, voters could register their decision of not choosing any candidate, but it also meant that their secrecy could be compromised. Today, NOTA remains a useful tool to gauge the level of dissatisfaction amongst voters. It also tells us the number of voters for whom none of the candidates were good enough to govern them. Let me state some data from the poll-bound states. In the five states going to polls next month, there were 15.19 lakh NOTA voters in the 2018 assembly elections, amounting to 1.4% of the total valid votes. The most share of NOTA votes were in Chhattisgarh, where four seats saw NOTA poll more than 5% of the votes, and these included Dantewada, Chitrakut, Bijapur and Narayanpur. When NOTA or negative vote was introduced, the Supreme Court had hoped that it would persuade parties to field better candidates. But has that happened? Many countries from France to Spain and even some states in the United uh, States of America also have this option. But has the NOTA option in India struck the right note with voters? How relevant is it in today's political system? Why do politicians continue to oppose it? Does it need any modifications? These are some of the questions we are trying to address today. With me is former CEC S.Y. Qureshi. Thank you very much for speaking to NDTV, sir. So you had famously said once that the NOTA option is not a right to reject, but it will let disillusioned voters be heard. Do you feel that NOTA has been able to serve its purpose and has it been able to bring in systemic change in polls to get political parties to project cleaner candidates? You know, interestingly, the, while public was uh, demanding NOTA, um, uh, led by Anna Hazar at one point in time, they wanted to create right to reject. If uh, maximum people vote for NOTA, the election will be cancelled and a new election will be held and the existing candidates will be disbarred. So that was their uh, demand, which we opposed. However, uh, interestingly, Election Commission itself was demanding NOTA even earlier for two different reasons. One was the secrecy of the voter uh, and the uh, other was uh, the possibility of impersonation. So what was happening was that suppose you don't go and vote uh, previous days, uh, 20th late, earlier. If you don't go to vote, uh, everybody knows, all parties know that uh, so and so hasn't come and voted. So they will uh, the, uh, stand up a proxy and they will vote uh, on his or her behalf. That was one possibility. Of course, we have to check it in 10 other ways, which we do. The other thing was that there was no unanimity, sorry, universe, uh, anonymity. Because when you go there under Rule 49O of Conduct of Election Rule 1961, uh, if you don't want to uh, vote, you will go to the polling station, ask the presiding officer, tell him you don't want to vote, he will give you a form and uh, he will show you uh, in the uh, register as having voted. But actually you have not voted, so uh, 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 he will keep your application in a sealed cover. So uh, for counting issue, otherwise you have not voted, but your vote will get counted. So uh, for accounting purpose, this was the thing. But the moment you announce that you are not planning to vote, you uh, you are lose your secrecy. And what are the consequences? Very serious, which even Supreme Court mentioned in its notice judgment. That suppose uh, you, uh, you are a neighborhood uh, a person who is a candidate and he's a criminal, and he uh, loses by 10, 15, 100 votes. So he will uh, pick out every single person who has not voted and will go and uh, bump them off or hit them or beat them. So there will be a reprisal. That is the word Supreme Court used. So in order to that uh, security was not available to you because of lack of secrecy. For that reason, we were demanding nota, but we were opposed to right uh, creation of right to reject because right to reject has 
serious uh, uh, legal implication and i don't think uh, uh, this will uh, get through uh, judicial scrutiny so uh, not over the institute now whether it has worked or not 10 years down the line when you are reviewing it and when the, there was an article in the newspaper uh, which reviewed it which is a good idea to see how it has worked but now from uh, on average uh, one between 1 and 2% of the vote have been nota uh, which is quite substantial actually and uh, in some one constituency in rajasthan it went up uh, beyond 5% at the same time it makes no difference to the result now you may remember uh, because uh, i used to appear on the, your television shows also repeatedly and i used to uh, explain to you these uh, this language that suppose 100 people go and vote and 1% uh, uh, 99% uh, person, uh, vote for nota one vote for a candidate for us the one uh, is the winner the one who has voted for a specific candidate because others are blank votes or non votes so invalid votes so invalid vote is invalid even if it is 99 so that was the <coughs> position now 5% nota votes uh, all that they, they show that there is a, a considerable resentment among the people of, among the voters about the quality of candidate which is expressed through nota but it makes no difference to the result now i as i had read uh, mr uh, bhubesh bagel saying that it affects the yes. result i don't think so i don't think so because um, uh, these are invalid votes there used to be 2000 3000 10000 invalid votes earlier also this is like invalid votes yeah chatisgarh chief minister bhupesh bagel has asked for the nota option to be scrapped now politicians have often di- dismissed nota as too as being too ambitious or being impractical and entailing huge expenses they've also said that it doesn't make any difference to the outcome something that you were also pointing out how do you see that comment sir no because uh, uh, well, probably if he say that uh, it has uh, served no real purpose to that extent he is right but the fa- the the fact that it is making no difference to the result to the election process therefore actually it doesn't matter if it stays or if it goes it doesn't really matter if it stays number one uh, scrapping it will be a little difficult because it was uh, as a result of supreme court judgment and for a good reason now the reason which i gave you about the secrecy the moment you remove nota uh, we'll have to uh, how do we uh, restore 490 uh, the rule and you will have to disclose uh, that you are not voting so we need to protect your uh, you from uh, from the gunda so therefore uh, if it continues like this it is okay it will become effective only at some point in time i don't know whether it is whether it is before the supreme court or not whether the legality whether it creates right to reject or not the moment uh, it creates right to reject and the maximum nota vote uh, mean uh, the dar election is uh, cancelled that is when it will make the difference and mr uh, uh anadar had actually argued with us he said that look you guys have been asking for a de- uh, debarring criminals from politics but nobody is listening to you you have been uh, fighting against money power and still crores are being spent nobody is listening to you he was right however he said through this nota if people re- reject a candidate who has spent 20 crores no party will then have the guts to put up a so same candidate or a similar candidate again because people have will have the last word so therefore it is uh, worth debating but uh, mr bagel has uh, made a point uh, that it has really not made no difference to the results to that extent he is right but 1 to 5% people disapproving all candidates it is for political party to see supreme court had said that the, uh, we know that the, it will not impact the result but uh, it will put political pressure on political party to put up good candidate moral pressure now yeah, at that time also i had written that moral pressure doesn't work on political parties so that was uh, too much of a wishful thinking and that has proved right uh, mr kureshi there's also this argument that a negative vote would really become meaningful if it is accompanied also by the introduction of mandatory voting or do you think that the nota needs some mod- modification so that it becomes a more uh, potent tool what are your views on that no 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 i personally feel there is no connection the moment it is compulsory voting then uh, you, uh, you go and vote and uh, either way this or that way 
So, or even if uh, the nota is uh, continued, but compulsory voting is a different issue, which we have opposed always, because uh, your right not to vote is as important as your right to vote. In fact, interestingly, uh, in this judgment, nota judgment, there have been several cases which have gone to the Supreme Court whether the right to vote is a constitutional right, and every judgment has said that it is not a constitutional right; it is a statutory right. However, in this judgment. They have raised right not to vote to the level of free, uh, uh, fundamental right. Right not to vote is more important than right to vote. This is the implication of this judgment. Therefore, compulsory voting is a totally different issue, which uh, we oppose. I oppose because I feel we can achieve the same thing through persuasion and through voter education. And ever since we introduced voter education in the election commission in 2010, Bihar election. Every election, if you see the similar study, somebody should do. Your channel can do. In the last ten years, every election has given us higher and higher and higher results, the highest uh, turnout in history through persuasion. In the Tripura, it is more than ninety percent. So, and all by persuasion, all by education and uh, voter education. Therefore, uh, there is no uh, scope for uh, compulsory voting at all. Right. Thank you, uh, Mr. Kureishi, for joining us with those insightful details. That was former CEC S Y Kureishi on the importance and relevance of NOTA. He says persuasion and awareness is the key.